in Business Central, we have the ability to actually track uh, items by serial number or lot numbers. And here on a item I've just added here, I've gone and set up um, and I've allocated uh, lot all and expiry. I've uh, set up the defaults in the card. I've selected the right size 365 as the vendor. And I've gone and done some references and units of measure, which just for good good measure here, and we're going to buy by a pallet. So we're, we're not nice and straightforward. So what the purpose of this tutorial is, is to go through, well, what do you have to do if you're doing uh, item tracking and, uh, you know, in the process of receiving? And so we're going to raise a purchase order with right size 365. Okay, and I'm going to go to the uh, 100. Uh, aha! Remember in my template, I said items to be blocked by default. So if I go into the item, look at that. A little chestnut there. Just make sure it's not blocked. And make sure it's not blocked. Awesome. All right. Okay, we're back in here and we're going to look at 003. Um, and I'm going to say three items. Let's make it two. All right, add $100, about $10 each. That sounds good. And I've got uh, two items, $10 each. Awesome. Uh, two pallets. And ooh, it's going to be a bit more expensive than that. So whatever that is, 10, 10 times 1,000. All right, so it's a twenty-two thousand dollar order. All right, we're ready to go, and uh, just because I want to do this on a basic location, I'm going to change from my default we set up in earlier to main, and let's just use the main location. So this is just showing you the requirements of um, tracking on an item. Okay, so at this stage, I could say I want to. Um, okay, I'm going to receive two, and I'm intentionally going to let this fail, okay, because I have not done anything to do with lots or expires yet, okay, so there should be, there's, there's two times 1,000 units, there's 2,000 units, we've got to put lots and expiry dates on, so let's take a look at it, um, let's hit post, I'm going to hit receive, you know, do OK, and straight away it should throw an error. You must assign a lot number to this item. So let's go take a look at that. So functions, line, we're going to go to item tracking. And from here, I'm going to assign a lot. Uh, lot number, lot number, we're going to go with... And I get to select how many of this is in that lot. And then I can do more tests. So I've got two lots here sitting in the system. And at this stage, that should actually get me out of trouble. So the source, quantity, quantity to handle, quantity invoice, we're good to go. So I'm going to refresh it's fine let's close and let's see what happens now so i want to receive but again it's going to fail because i haven't put an expiry date so again tracking the lot tracking the expiry so i'm going to post and receive and as we post this the expiry date must have a value in the tracking specification all right so it is required that if you're going to be doing item tracking and you've set the expiry date, we'll just set the date for tomorrow for the purpose of this example. Let's now check that. And I can go post, receive. It's great. And that's now received into stock. And we're able to, we can turn around and track this item based on testing, okay? So there's a lot called testing. I'm gonna post this invoice to get it through the system. 
And I'm going to go back to our inventory and we're going to go take a look at what's going on. So let's go to items. And now you can see here the example tracked items has 2000. And I can now see here, all right, if I wish to, I can personalize. And it should show me the expiry date. The lot number. And if I dig a little bit further, I can also grab the serial number. So I can show in my inventory quick look up here by using the flow field what's going on in inventory. Okay. And if I was wanting to understand item tracing, I can actually go to tracing, type in a lot and hit trace, and it should turn around and link this lot all the way back to a purchase receipt, the item, etc. So I can see and open that document where we receipted those goods. Okay. I can find entries from that and I can actually see the purchase receipt and the purchase invoice that I can trace back to with that vendor, just like that. So it's very cool. And there's the purchase invoice. So item traceability is super powerful. Um, highly recommend it for different organizations that are dealing with uh, goods that expire, things with serial numbers on them, um, value assets that we need to track, uh, lots where we've got an obligation to track and break up your inventory by batches into lots. Okay, that's fantastic. We've got to remember we use, uh, we're an InsightWorks partner. There are easy ways to capture lots on receding without having to type it in a computer. So make sure you talk to your implementer about the best way that you should be using your Business Central implementation by looking at the warehouse management side of it and mobility, um, for example, getting back to Zebras, okay? And that's it. Thank you.